What's going on YouTube, Robocats Gaming here. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys an Unturned 3.0 Yukon Weapons Guide. So this is going to be covering all of the weapons in the Yukon map right now, where they spawn, all their stats, how many hits for a zombie, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it any time, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the video, so I hope you guys enjoy. Now before I completely get started, I do want to mention this little side note here. Not every weapon in the game is on this map, so you're not going to find every single weapon that's in the game. They're not all going to be on this map, so I'm just warning you guys that you're not going to be able to find Maple Strikes, you're not going to be able to find RPGs, Shadow Stalkers, Crossbows. You're only going to be able to find the weapons that I'm talking about in this video, so that's just a little bit of a heads up. Okay guys, so the first gun that I'm going to be covering is the Desert Eagle. Now, the Desert Eagle is a military grade weapon that can only be found by killing Mega Zombies. So if you don't know what Mega Zombie is, it is one of those giant zombies that you see around the map. And again, the only way that you could get this weapon is by killing one of those. So whenever you grab this weapon, it has a range of 125 meters, it has a 7 bullet clip, and it has two modes which are safety and semi. As I mentioned before, this is a military grade weapon, which means that it takes military ammo. To a zombie, this does 138 damage to the head, meaning that it is a 1 hit. It's a 2 hit to the torso, and it's a 3 hit to the arms and legs. Okay, so the second gun that I'm going to be covering in this video is the Ace. So the Ace is a civilian grade pistol that can be found in city houses and rarely in cabins. City houses are obviously found in the town, and cabins are scattered throughout the world, kind of just like random locations. Uh, I'm sure you guys could find those, they're pretty much everywhere. So this again is a civilian grade rifle, which means it takes civilian ammo. It has a range of 100 meters, has a 6 round clip, and has 2 modes which are semi and safety. This does 108 damage to the head, once again, meaning that it is a 1 hit to the head, it is a 2 hit to the torso, and a 3 hit to the arms and legs. Okay, so the third and final pistol that you can find on this map is the Colt. The Colt, again, is a civilian grade pistol. It can be found in city houses and rarely in cabins, kind of like the Ace. Uh, they're both pretty common guns, I don't really know which one you're mo more likely to find. I would think it would be the Colt, but I'm not entirely sure. This gun has a range of 100 meters, it takes civilian ammo, and it has a 7 bullet clip. It has two modes which are semi and safety, and it does 108 damage to the head, so a one hit, it does 60 damage to the torso, so a two hit, and it's a three hit to the arms and legs. Okay, so there are currently two shotguns in Unturned, one is the Blunt Force and one is the Master Key. Uh, the Blunt Force takes 12 gauge ammo and the Master Key takes 20 gauge ammo, so uh, you're not going to be able to find the Blunt Force in this, in this map currently, but you will be able to find the Master Key. The Master Key is a fairly common shotgun that is usually found in camps and cabins, it has 15 meter range, it has two bullets, it can hold two bullets, my bad, and it has two modes that are semi and safety. So this does 48 damage to the zombies in the head, which means it's a two hit. It's a three hit to the torso and a three hit to the arms and legs. Now, this gun here does actually take 20 gauge ammo. Uh, there's a difference with the two shotguns, one of them takes 12 and one of them takes 20. And again, the Master Key takes 20. Okay, so again, there's currently only two assault rifles that can be found around the Yukon map. Uh, one of them is the Honey Badger, and the other is the Eagle Fire, but the first one that I'm going to be covering right now is the Honey Badger. So the Honey Badger is an extremely rare carbine that can only be dropped by killing Mega Zombies. So, again, to get this gun, you have to kill one of those giant zombies. You also have a chance of getting a Desert Eagle, some ghillie clothes, stuff like that, but again, I'm only covering the guns in this video. So this gun is a military-grade weapon, which means it takes military-grade ammo. It has a range of 125 meters, and it has two clip sizes, which are 30 and 100 bullets. So this does take military clips and military drums, so that's the type of clip you need to use this gun. It has three fire modes, which are safety, semi, and auto, and it's a one hit to the zombies in the head, a two hit to the torso, and a three hit to the arms and legs. Okay, so the final assault rifle in this category is the Eagle Fire. Now, the Eagle Fire is extremely common. I'm sure you guys could tell by this video that I found it like 20 times just from, you know, the video playing on the screen. Uh, but the Eagle Fire is a military-grade weapon that can be found at off-limits and rarely dropped by Mega Zombies. This gun, again, is military-grade, so it takes military ammo, has a range of 200 meters, and it has two fire modes, which are semi and safety. This has the same types of clips as the Honey Badger, which are the military magazine and the military drum, so they have two sizes, 30 and 100. It's a one-hit to the zombies in the head, a two-hit to the torso, and as always, a three-hit to the arms and legs. Believe it or not, there are only three more guns that are able to be found on this map. And those are all rifles. So as you guys probably know, rifles are like a sniper rifles, but they're not as good. So they're pretty common, uh, but I'm going to go over these in order. The first rifle that I'm going to be going over is the Schofield. Now the Schofield is, a, again, a fairly common rifle. Uh, it can be found at camps and cabins, and it is a civilian-grade rifle, so it takes civilian ammo. It has a range of 200 meters, which is pretty crazy for such a underpowered gun. And it has two modes, which are safety and semi. It does a one-hit to the head for a zombie. 
a 2 hit for the torso for a zombie, and a 3 hit for the arms and legs for a zombie. Okay, so the next gun we're going to be covering is the Hawkhound. Uh, the Hawkhound and the Schofield are actually pretty similar. Uh, there's not much different about them, especially on Yukon map. So the Hawkhound can also be found in camps and cabins. It is a civilian grade rifle, so it takes civilian ammo, and it has an 8 round magazine. It has a range of 200 meters, and it has two modes, which are semi and safety. And again, it is a one hit to the head, two hit to the torso, and three hit to the arms and legs for a zombie. And now for the final gun on this list, which is the Sport Shot. The Sport Shot, again, is another common rifle that can be found at camps and cabins. It is a civilian grade rifle, so it takes civilian ammo, has a 10 round clip, has a range of 200 meters, and it has two modes, which are semi and safety. Just like basically every other gun on this list, it's a one hit to the head for a zombie, a two hit to the torso for the zombie, and a three hit for the arms and legs for a zombie. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. It really supports me. And if you guys want to see more unturned videos, go ahead and leave a like too. I really appreciate that. I did do one of these guides before for PEI. It's kind of outdated, kind of bad quality. But if you guys want, you can go ahead and check that out. I'll try to put a link to that in the description below if I remember. Uh, I also have a link to my Steam group in the description below. You guys can feel free to join that. I do giveaways. It's a fun time. We all play games together. It's super cool. I think I have about 100 members at the time of my recording. So again, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Peace.